Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to do an example of linear pairs and vertical angles. Now, if we look at the example on the right, and we have six angles there, which of those angles are linear pairs and which of those are vertical angles? Well, the definition of linear pairs is that the two added together add up to 180 degrees. For example, a good Here's a good example of what a linear pair would look like if this is angle A and this is angle B. You can clearly see that the sum of these two angles or the sum of the measure of those two angles add up to 180 degrees, so A and B would be considered a linear pair. But here you take a look at that and look at any two adjacent angles, none of them will add up to 180 degrees. Because notice 1 and 2 don't add up to 180 degrees, 1 and 6 do not, 6 and 5 do not, None of these can be taken as a pair to adjacent angles adding up to 180 degrees, so there are no linear pairs in this example. However, are there vertical angles? And the answer is yes, there are. There's three pairs of vertical angles. Every time you look at two opposite angles like this, two and five would be considered vertical angles, three and six, and one and four. So let's write that down. We have two and five. Our vertical angles, uh, let's see here, we have 3 and 6, 3 and 6 are vertical angles, and uh, 1 and 4, 1 and 4 are a pair of vertical angles, so there's three pairs of vertical angles. Now let's come over here, and the question is, is this a linear pair? And you can see clearly that when we add this angle together with this angle, we have a 180 degree sum, or again, I should say, the measure of those two angles. So therefore, by the definition of uh, a linear pair, this would consider to be a linear pair. Now we're supposed to solve for x. We have this angle being x degrees and this angle being 8x degrees. But we know that the measure, the sum of the measure of those two angles must add up to 180. So we can say that 8x plus x must be equal to 180, if we consider the left and the right side to be degrees. Add this together, we get 9x is equal to 180 degrees, divide both sides by 90, and sure enough, x is equal to 20. So therefore, x equals 20 degrees would be the answer to our problem up there. And that's how we deal with vertical angles and linear pairs.